I'm Gabrielle, owner of Strand Pilates. I wanted to show you guys some more moves that you can do on the reformer with a pole. So I am set up with a heavy spring and a light one, a red and a yellow. So just a red and a yellow spring. I like my headrest up, so I'm going to put it up. Go ahead and lie down on your back. You're going to grab one strap, put the pole inside the short strap, and then the other strap, and do the same. Make sure the straps aren't too close, not too far either, and hold on to the outside of the pole. All right, push into those hands so the hands go slightly below those shoulders. Find your neutral spine, so make sure you're not tucking. Nice and neutral, slide your shoulders away from the shoulder blocks. Scoop the belly in and close your upper ribs, so never let those ribs flare out like this. Always keep them closed. Legs to tabletop. From here, just the arms push down, pull taps your thighs, and arms go back up. On your next one, extend your legs as the arms lower. Bend them as the arms lift up. Make sure as the legs extend out that you're still pulling the navel in, not pushing it out, and that your ribs are not leaving that carriage. Last one like this. On your next one, head and shoulders curl up. So curl up to the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, squeeze your legs tight, pull those abs in deeper, reach those arms even further away from your shoulders, and then come on down again. And down, one more. Hold, open the legs and close, open, close. Bend the knees, arms up, head down, rest your feet. Good job, you guys. All right, cross, uh, hook your straps back up. Keep your pull, come on up. We're gonna add a red spring just so that the carriage doesn't move around. Sit towards the edge of the carriage with your legs over the bar. We're gonna go ahead and hold on to the pole, shoulders distance apart, sit up tall. We're gonna twist to the right and hold. Keep the pole parallel to the floor for now. Abs in, glutes engaged, rolling back halfway. Scoop the belly and stack your spine right up. One more like this. Twist to center, grow tall, twist to the left. Keep that pull parallel to the floor. As you roll back, you're really targeting those obliques here. And stack your spine back to center. Scoot forwards if you shift it, sitting up tall. This time we're gonna dip the outside of that pole on the right down to the floor as we roll back. And stack your spine back up, now to the left and stacking back up. One more like this on each side. Now, next time you roll back, go ahead and hold it. So dip to the right, rolling back, hold. Now, lift your arms up and start lifting your chest up, up, up. Twist to center. Dip down, roll. Arms go up as you lift up, up, up. Twist to center. One more on each side. And relax. Open your legs to the sides. Hold on to the pole behind you. And then go ahead and just hold on to it. Keep the pole against your back. Straighten out those legs. Sit up tall. Shoulders down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist to the right. Inhale center. Exhale to twist to the left. Inhale center. One more on each side. Pushing that right heel forwards here. And then as you twist to the left, push your left heel forwards. And center and relax. Good job, you guys. All right. We're going to go to one blue spring only. Headrest goes down. Probably do this without my foot on top. Okay. Legs straight between the shoulder blocks. Put the pole in the short strap. Make sure you have some space behind you. And we're gonna undergrip the pole today. Sitting up tall, shoulders back in place, shoulders on top of your hips, we're just gonna bicep curl. So the weight isn't too light, we're gonna add on in a second. Just work your posture muscles, work your core here as you bicep curl. 
Last one here, keep it curled. 90 degree angle in the elbows. Squeeze your glutes, lift up tall, hinge back with a flat back, hold. Extend those arms up, lift your chest up as you come all the way up, lower the arms, bicep curl. Squeeze, hinge, extend, lift, and lower the arms. Bicep curl, squeeze, hinge, lift, open the chest, abs are in here. Last one here. And bend. So this, um, that series there, I would do maybe five to eight of these. It's a great way to get some cardio into your Pilates practice. Your heartbeat goes up um, and it's just a nice flow to go through the body. Um, I hope you enjoyed these exercises. I would, if I were to do them myself, I would just do more reps. So you'll probably want more reps of each of these exercises. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click subscribe. There's a lot of other reformer videos and Pilates mat videos on there. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.